Say hello to Tiny Mush and Mega Mush, the smartest mushrooms on the planet. They are 3D printed in transparent PETG and house a number of RGB LEDs to make them shine just the way you want. My main reason for making these was to use them as OK to wake lights for my kids, so they hopefully don't wake me up way too early in the weekends. But I think they will also do nice as simple bedside lamps or decorative lights as well. These two guys actually differ in more than size. Let's start with the Tiny Mush. The Tiny Mush is powered by a Xiao ESP32 microcontroller with Wi Fi, has 10 RGB LEDs, and a single push button. With the button, you can turn it on and off, adjust brightness, and change light mode. In addition, with the ESP32 connected to Wi-Fi, it will have an NTP sync clock and let you set an alarm that will turn on the tiny mesh with a red wave of light. Okay, so this is the web page for the tiny mesh. It has a slider which lets you set the brightness level. It's a mode button here, you can change the light mode. And then up here you may set an alarm time. So let's make a test now and open the time picker and we set alarm time and that's it. Now let's wait. The Mega Mesh is powered by a Xiao Sum D21 microcontroller. It has 24 LEDs and an encoder with push button. There is no Wi-Fi on this one, so lights are controlled by the encoder only. Turning it will adjust brightness, and button will toggle on and off and change light modes. I tried to make the design as easy to build as possible, so if you got a 3D printer and a solder iron, you should be able to do it yourself. I spent quite some time testing out different designs and settings for the mushroom hat to make a nice light diffusion. I'll share the SDL files and print settings in printables. I'll share the code and wiring diagrams in GitHub and you'll find all the links in the description. Before starting the build I need to show you this awesome helping hand kit I just bought. I'm not sponsored by this, I just really like it. Those springs and magnets instantly appealed to me when I first saw this on YouTube, but it turns out to be more than the looks. So far I find it extremely flexible and helpful, and I'm sure I will use this a lot. The clamps are isolated from the plate, so you may even use it to power up your circuits. Ok, let's start off building the tiny mesh. Now, time to do some programming. Follow Seed Studio ESP32 Getting Started Guide. This will show you how to install Arduino IDE 
Add ESP32 Boards package and select correct board and port for upload. Then open Library Manager, search for FastLED and install. Next, get my TinyMesh code from GitHub and download it. Remember to enter your Wi-Fi SSID and password into the code before uploading it to the ESP32. Once you got it uploaded, open Arduino Serial Monitor and get the IP assigned to your TinyMesh. If you now enter that IP in a browser on a device connected to your Wi-Fi network, you should see the TinyMesh web page. Open Arduino IDE and Boards Manager tab. Search for Seed Studio and install boards. Then open Library Manager, search for FastLED and install. The encoder library must be installed manually, so first download it from GitHub. A big thank you to Paul Stoffregen for a perfect encoder library. Shut down Arduino IDE Unpack it into Arduino library folder and restart Arduino IDE. Now grab my Megamesh code from GitHub and select correct board and port and download it. <laughs> 